Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I am going to show you how to interface and measure temperature using PT100 Platinum Resistance Thermometer using Arduino Nano and LCD. Platinum Resistance Thermometers offer excellent accuracy over the wide temperature range from minus 200 degrees Celsius to plus 850 degrees Celsius. Due to the accuracy and wide temperature range, this PT100 becomes the first choice for industrial temperature monitoring system. The principle of operation is to measure the resistance of platinum element. The most common type PT100 has a resistance of 100 ohm at 0 degree Celsius and 138.4 ohm at 100 degree Celsius according to data sheet. Platinum resistance thermometer available in different wire configuration. That is 2 wire configuration, 3 wire configuration and 4 wire configuration. But don't be panic if you have higher wire configuration because as it is a resistor it must have one input and output terminal so other than two terminal must be sorted to either input or output terminal let's check for this here i'm going to interface three terminal rtd sensor for that i'm going to test the continuity adjust the multimeter in continuity test mode mode and check whether which two wire are sorted as you can see here these two wires are connected together so if you have four wire rtd then two are for input and two are for output they are sorted together we cannot connect this pt100 temperature sensor directly to Arduino nano or any other microcontroller for that we need another auxiliary circuit that convert the change in resistance into change in voltage in Arduino or any microcontroller readable range now let's see the circuit diagram. The proper description of circuit, we had split the entire circuit into seven small part. Let's see the first part, that is voltage divided network for PT100. Now a simple voltage divided network is designed using constant voltage source, a constant resistor and PT100. While choosing the value of this constant resistance, that is R1, we have to consider few things. 1. Value of resistor R must be great enough in order to avoid the self-heating problem. If we use low value resistance, more voltage drop across PT100. As a result, more self-heating. This increases error. 2. Value of R must be low enough in order to avoid the problem of lower signal to noise ratio. If we increase the value of R, change in magnitude per degree decrease as a result lower signal to noise ratio. Large value of R also increase noise which is also responsible for lower signal to noise ratio. For selecting proper R we have to do trade off between self heating problem and better signal to noise ratio. The value of fixed resistor depend upon the temperature range we are going to measure. Let us suppose we are designing here 0 degree Celsius to 150 degree Celsius. If we consider fixed resistor R is equal to 1 kilo ohm and resistance of PT100 at 0 degree Celsius is equal to 1 ohm, then output voltage B out can be calculated using voltage divider formula. That is 0 0.4545 voltage. Now at 0 degree Celsius, the B out would be 0 0.4545 voltage. Clearly, we can also calculate B out at 150 degrees Celsius. According to the data sheet of PT100 resistance, at 150 degrees Celsius, resistance of PT100 is equal to 157.33. As a result, B out is equal to 0 0.6797 voltage. From above calculation, we have to measure voltage between 0 0.4545 volt to 0 0.6757 voltage for 0 degree Celsius to 150 degree Celsius range. Length of RTD sensor and its lead is long and might act as antenna. As a result, it starts to pick up the noise and mix with temperature voltage. In order to avoid this problem, a capacitor of high value, say 100 microfarad, is connected parallelly across RTD sensor. Here, this capacitor acts as low pass filter and remove almost all noise. We cannot connect this B out directly to Arduino Nano. We need various amplifying stages. At first, I am going to use voltage follower circuit. There are two main reasons of using voltage follower circuit. That is to avoid loading effect and second is higher input resistance. 
voltage follower circuit is basically a unity gain non-inverting amplifier. This amplifier circuit is called voltage follower because the output voltage is equal and in phase with the input. The output of PT100 B out is connected to non-inverting terminal where inverting terminal is connected directly to output for unity gain. Now this thermometer is designed to measure 0 degree Celsius to 150 degree Celsius. So it must not respond below 0 degree Celsius and higher than 150 degree Celsius. The voltage at 0 degree Celsius is 0 0.4545 degree Celsius. So we need to subtract this voltage in order to get 0 volt at 0 degree Celsius. For this purpose we need differential amplifier. But before that we need another constant 0 0.4545 voltage source. In order to cancel out voltage at 0 degree Celsius. Now a constant voltage source is designed using voltage divided network made from variable resistor BR1 and fixed resistor R2. Adjust variable resistor so that output voltage must be equal to voltage at 0 degree Celsius that is 0 0.4545 voltage. Now let's calibrate the output voltage of constant voltage source that is we need 0 0.4545 voltage. Connect the multimeter and select the range of 2000 millivolt that is as you can see here and adjust this variable resistor till we get 4 5 As you can see here, we get 455 millivolts. that is 0.454 voltage. Same as above, we are using another voltage follower circuit in order to avoid loading effect. Up to here, we had designed two voltage follower amplifier, one for fixed voltage source and another for PT100 temperature sensor. Now a differential amplifier has two input terminal that are both isolated from ground by the same impedance. The differential amplifier amplifies only the difference in voltage at two input terminal that is inverting and non-inverting pin. Now the output of PT100 temperature sensor is given to non-inverting terminal where output of fixed voltage source is given to inverting terminal. While designing the differential amplifier, we have to calculate gain, that is up to what output voltage we have to amplify. Now the voltage that differential amplifier amplifies is voltage at maximum temperature that is 0 0.6787 and voltage at minimum temperature that is 0 0.4545 which is equal to 0 0.2252 voltage. Now, before calculating gain of differential amplifier, let's clear some doubt. Now, default internal ADC reference voltage of Arduino is 5 volt with 10 bit analog to digital converter. That is, it divide input voltage by 2 to the power 10, that is 1024, 1024 division. The resolution of Arduino at 5 volt is equal to 5 divided by 1024 is equal to 4.88 millivolt. Now from above calculation we found that at 0 degree Celsius the voltage is equal to 0 0.4545 volt and at higher temperature that is 150 degree Celsius voltage is equal to 0 0.6797 voltage. Now the voltage difference between lower volt and higher volt is equal to 0 0.2252 volt. So total number of division for 0. 2252 volt is equal to 0 0.2252 volt divided by 4.88 millivolt that is 46.14 approximately 47 division for 0 degree celsius to 150 degree celsius above calculation we are clearly see that division is lower than temperature range that is arduino so 3.25 degree celsius per division change in voltage that is lowest temperature difference Arduino can measure is 3.25 degrees Celsius which is not preferable so we need amplifier. 
here a question arise why can't we amplifier at full range that is at 5 voltage we can amplify but there are two problem one higher gain we have to amplify differential input voltage to high extent say 5 voltage as a result we have to use higher value of feedback resistor two external power supply needed that is it is difficult to amplify up to supply voltage according to the data sheet of lm 324 maximum amplifier output voltage is equal to supply voltage minus 1.5 voltage so if we are using 5 volt from arduino as supply voltage for operational amplifier the maximum amplified output will not exceed 5 voltage minus 1.5 volt that is 3.5 volt so at 5 volt supply 1.5 volt of adc is wasted in order to utilize default 5 volt reference we need external power supply for lm324 and must be greater than 6.5 volt in order to overcome these two problem we are using 1.1 volt internal adc of arduino and this can be selected in arduino source code here we are using 1.1 volt internal reference voltage thus maximum voltage that arduino can read is 1.1 volt so we have to amplify maximum differential voltage say 0 0.2252 voltage to 1.1 volt thank you for watching this video in next video i will show you how to calculate gain how to change voltage into resistance and then in temperature and complete source code so please subscribe the channel in order to get notification